make spiced beef carrot burgers. Now we all love a burger, um, but we all sort of know they're not particularly good for us. But with this delicious recipe with very, very low saturated fats included, um, I'm going to take you through step by step how to make a gorgeous burger. Now to start with, we're going to add our lovely lean minced beef. Now you can substitute this for either pork or lamb mince. Just make sure that it's nice and lean. And if you go to your butchers, he can help you choose a really lean cut and mince it on the premises for you. So we're going to add this to our bowl. And we're going to add our grated carrot. And this is wonderful because it bulks out the mix. It gives you additional fiber, vitamins, but if you're not keen on carrot, you can always substitute it for something like courgette. So we're going to add that to our mince. Now we've got little button mushrooms here which have been coarsely chopped. Another reason that we're adding them is to, to bulk it out, apart from giving a bit more flavor to the dish also. And then in goes our chopped onion and our 55 grams of wholemeal breadcrumbs. 55 grams is roughly about a slice and a half of bread. I'm just going to give that a little mix together now. Now you can see there's an awful lot of mixture here. Now I'm going to add one lightly beaten egg. The cholesterol issue kicks in when you start scrambling or frying eggs. So really boiling or poaching eggs is, is the best way to deal with them. Right, I'm going to add my tomato puree. Now, I know there are some recipes that say tomato ketchup, but of course, that's high in sugar. And of course, the tomato puree isn't. It gives a lovely flavor, which is what we're trying to do without adding any salt whatsoever. All these lovely spices. So in has gone my um, chili powder. Now you can use chili flakes, but just remember that chili flakes are far hotter than ground chili. So in has got my coriander, my two teaspoons, my two teaspoons of cumin, and my lovely garlic cloves. So in that goes as well. And make sure you give this a good mix. I'm going to actually add my black pepper now because I haven't got any of the raw meat mixture on my hands. Just remember when you're handling any raw meat, make sure you give your hands a jolly good wash. So this is where the hands go in. Best tool in the world when you're cooking. Now you don't have to cut out red meat as part of your healthy diet. Just ensure that it's nice and lean. Now I'm going to make eight patties from this mixture, roughly about a centimetre thick. I'm going to place these onto my rack which helps to drain off a lot of the excess fat. You can actually freeze these burgers, freeze them in their raw state, individually pack them and they can go into the freezer for about a month. Just make sure that when you come to use them that you completely defrost them before you cook them. Give your hands a jolly good wash now. And these patties go into the oven for 20 minutes on a medium grill and turning once. Don't set them too close to the heat. Um, roughly about eight centimeters from the, the grill element. It'll take about 20 minutes. And there we have it. Our lovely spicy beef carrot burgers. On our wholemeal bap with some healthy salad.